Precious mm. Sigina, mm. started his own ministry. Mm. He started, uh, we started together mm. in uh, Guagolada there. From Guagolada, we now relocated to South Africa. Nice. Meanwhile, right. while this is ongoing, mm -hmm. the brother, Precious Sigina, was abusing me physically. The abuse started when he got uh, uh, fired. No, the abuse started... Uh, um, um, one week into the wedding, when the, the, the brother asked me to go and sit down in the, the congregation. The church, right. Yeah, from then, that abuse started. So why, how, why did that trigger the abuse? I don't know. Maybe he would, Be maybe he has, it. yeah, yeah. So from, the, from that the, day, yes. he started physically attacking him. Yes. At every slight provocation, he would slap me. At every slight provocation, he would strangle me. At every slight provocation, maybe I go to the market. Because I, while I was married to him for seven years, mm -hmm. I didn't have any house help. Right. I do my house shows, everything myself. So anytime I go to the market, mm -hmm. before I come back, maybe I overstayed in the market, they, he's going to lock, lock the door. My neighbors in Guagalada can attest to this if they are watching. My neighbors in Port Harcourt can attest to it. Mrs. Tinu, they can attest to it. They've seen me. They've come to beg him. My neighbors in South Africa, em, Emma Baloi, she can attest to it. She has come to beg him time and time without number to let me into the house. After being, most times after he attacked me, I run out. Or at times he pushes me out of the house. I go out and stay and for some time until neighbors will come and beg. So he's been like that. Mm. Yeah. So... Right, so the physical abuse started like one week into the wedding. Yes, sir. So why did you stay? Because they were convincing me, these uh, neighbors, church members, they were convincing me. I got married at 25 and I didn't know much about life. I didn't know, I didn't know much so like, like I do a, now. Right. So do you have kids? Yeah. How many kids do you have? A boy and a girl. You have two kids. Where are yes. they now? They are, I don't know where they are. Ah, what do you mean by that? I don't know where they are because... Um, um, 11 months ago in Port Harcourt, um, there was a day um, Precious Iginla said he was coming to see his brother in Abuja. So when he left, he so told me he was coming to see his brother in Abuja. He dropped 7,000 Naira for me. You guys are in Port Harcourt? Yes. Right. And he said that uh, I should, out of that 7,000, because he does not buy food in bulk at home, mm -hmm. like in bulk. He does not buy food at home in bulk at home mm -hmm. he does not even give me money for upkeep mm -hmm. not even five thousand naira the brother is still going to call you he's still going to call you and try to talk you out and tell you that he's on top of it mm -hmm. possibly and try to see how he will bribe you because this is what i've been experiencing mm -hmm. with anywhere i go to he contacts the people behind me just to frustrate me and make life more unbearable for me so mm -hmm. back to what i was saying like uh, he told me he was coming to see his brother mm, Abuja. in Abuja. He boarded a flight. He was going. He dropped 7,000. I should cook inside. I should do a pot of soup. I should buy meat and the rest of them. So that was how I told him that the money he's giving me, he's too small. He's going to spend two weeks in Abuja. And I have two kids at home. Mm. He told me that he does not have any money that he's going to give to me. So mm -hmm. that was how he left, came to Abuja. So the money I was holding, um, the money, the 7,000 he gave me, when I exhausted the money, mm -hmm. I called him and said to him, I needed more money, even if it is 3,000 Naira, should send to me mm -hmm. so that um, I can manage around and keep myself going till he comes back. He told me that he does not have any money he's going to give to me. So that was how I took some plastic chairs in the house. I sold to these people passing by in that area there. So they gave me 12,000. That was how I, I used it to take care of myself till, until he got back. So when he got back, he started fighting and said that I should go and return his plastic chairs. His plastic chairs are missing. He wants his plastic chairs. So that, is, that was the fight that led to him physically abusing me and throwing me out of the house. Mm -hmm. Then my neighbors in that area came to separate the fight. So the, my neighbors took me in. One of my neighbors took me into his house. Mm -hmm. He housed me there. So 
that was the last day I saw my kids, I saw my belongings, everything. Precious Igimla went and arrested those people that housed me, that gave me shelter for a month. He went and arrested them. After arresting them, he took them to the police station. Like he made them write statements and said to them that they should never house me anytime I come over there. I'm sorry. Please wear station. Sure. Please wear station, sure, please. Thank you for joining our YouTube channel. I know, I hope um, you loved that video and you connected with it. Don't forget, please subscribe, please like, please share with your friends and family. Please comment. We love to see your comments and to see the full versions. Join our community right now or past episodes on watch.withtoday.com. Let's be human together.